50 cents at a garage sale. 50 cents at a garage sale. I love it. Did I sell it too cheap? Some of these go for crazy money. I mean, thousands of dollars. Some of these. This one didn't go for that, but some of them do. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for Share Your Best January Bolo. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited all of my Facebook members to join in and share their best January Bolo. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. If you hear me mention a YouTube channel or an eBay store and I tell you their link down below, that is because they are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, which means they have joined memberships for perks at level two. So if that interests you, there is a join button down below or a link down below. No pressure. It is completely free to share a bolo, but if you want that shout out and that uh, clickable link down in the description, you can join at level two. Um, let's get started here. The first item picked up at the Goodwill for $5, sold in less than a month for $75. It is a vintage rare MCM Unicorn Dove Twin Sheet Set. And it's got that word that I can never say. Kitsch, kitschki, kitschki, kitsch, kitschy, kitschy, K-I-T-S-C-H-Y. And I know that word is trending and I don't know how to say it. Kitschy. That's not right, is it? Help me out in the comments. You guys, I know you'll help me out. You guys are the best at helping me out. Thanks so much. Um, but it's a bedding bib company in pack. This is what it looks like. Okay. Empty box. Empty box. Got it free from a friend clearing out her grown kids left behind. Sold within 10 minutes of posting for full asking price. So if something sells that quick, my first thought is, did I sell it too cheap? Full asking price, 10 minutes. I had sold some other empty boxes, but never for this much. Transformers Evil De Decepticon Leader Megatron Empty Box from 1984. Bam. You know who was talking about empty boxes tonight on their YouTube live show? Rachel Strickland. Sub her up, guys. Um, so yeah, this was an empty box. $79.99. Woohoo! That is awesome. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. Um, this is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She is also a moderator of the Facebook group. So go show her some love because she helps keep the Facebook group in line. And if you guys are in the Facebook group, I'm going to ask you to please help out. If you see anything that is breaking the rules, please click on those three dots and report it, okay? So if you're on a desktop or a laptop, you click the three dots. If you're on your phone, you hold down on the comment. We need your help. There's over 80,000 people in the Facebook group and some people just are not very nice and I, I want everybody to be nice. So if you see a problem, please report it. Okay, she says, a friend gave it to my daughter for free and sold for full asking price on Etsy. It is a vintage Tony Stewart Winston Cup NASCAR racing jacket, $139.99 for that. So that is got junk in our trunk. And she has an awesome YouTube channel. Check her out. She's linked down below. Remember, everybody's linked down below. Got it free in a buy nothing group and sold it for $141. Got it free in a buy nothing group? What is a buy nothing group? And why am I not a member? Why am I not a member? Buy nothing? It is a Sleep 8 CPAP cleaner and sanitizer device bundle. Okay. Alarm's going off. That's my alarm. CPAP. No, no, no. Do not put anything CPAP on 
eBay. You will get a Vero, okay? That item will be removed. You will get a policy violation slash item removed slash um, maybe a suspension. CPAPs are considered a prescription. They are an RX item. You are not allowed to sell them. Um, a friend of mine was selling parts and I, I'm pretty sure it was from the CPAP machines. It may have been another um, RX item, but he was getting hit with um, violations for the parts also. Again, eBay is going to pick up that keyword CPAP and then it's going to, you know, it's still a part of the machine or even if it's not the machine. So I guess there's somebody that does buybacks for CPAPs. Um, I don't remember. I talked about it in, a, in one of my Vero videos. There was a YouTube channel that talked about it and I can't remember which one it was now. But um, you can look into that. Now, this cleaner and sanitizer, I don't know if that's a prescription type deal where or not, but this sold on Mercari. So eBay and Mercari and Poshmark are three different platforms. I'm going to guess that you can't sell prescription items on any of them, but I don't know if you can sell parts on Mercari or not. So don't put it on eBay. Look into it before you put it on Mercari or Poshmark. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Yes, it looks like it's a big money bolo, but be careful. Don't risk your account. Okay, this is what it looks like. All right, die cast Robotech toys, three inches tall. Lot of three found at the Nashville flea market, paid $5 for all three toys. Sold full price bundle for $58 shipping. Um, okay, $58 plus shipping. All right, and before I go any further, make sure you check out my Vero playlist. So these are all these are all videos that have to do with policy violations or Vero's where people had suspensions or items taken down that members of this Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I post a thing that looks like this in the group and everybody in the group shares their violations to help us all learn and I put it in video format but I have a whole playlist. Go watch those videos or listen to them while you work, okay? Really important, you guys, that you know what not to list. And not just what's on the Vero list, but current things that are being taken off of eBay, okay? All right, so these are Robotech toys. They're die cast, and they're only three inches. They're just itty bitty. So this is what they look like. And it looks like they sold the bundle for $58. That's awesome. Paid $4 at a sale, took a best offer of $90. It is an APC large brown leather tote bag weekender travel double handle shoulder strap. And this is what it looks like. Uh, so definitely, yeah, bags, purses, there's definitely a market. Be very, very careful with um, certain brands because there are a lot of knockoffs out there and you do have to be careful. But um, that's one thing that I kind of hesitate, like I'm hesitant towards if it's one that I know that there's a lot of knockoffs. Purchase from a local mom to mom group. Okay, this is interesting. Paid $10 for a lot of five stocking holders. So my average cost was $2. Had it listed for two months at $119, reduced after Christmas to $99.99. And it sold for full price in two weeks. All of the stocking holders in this series are a bolo. Christmas Express Train Toy Car Stocking Holder. And Christmas Express, I guess, is the brand. Vintage Great Shape Bear Tree. That's what it looks like right there. Oh my goodness. I'm getting all kinds of new followers on whatnot. I've got all these things popping up. Somebody must be talking about me. Uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel is live right now having a live show and so is uh, Donatella Bottolino and they always shout me out so if it's you guys shouting me out thank you guys so much and I'll link them down below also because they have awesome channels. Got at Habitat for Humanity Restore paid nine dollars and listed at a hundred and fifty and accepted an offer of a hundred and twenty five. All right this one's kind of small so I gotta zoom in. Vintage Tollware, floor lamp, farmhouse, country, rustic, black, gold painted toll, 40s to 50s. Right there it is. So $125 for that. That's awesome. That's one store I've never been into, a Habitat for Humanity Restore. 
Let me know in the comments if you guys shop there, if you've done well there. Is it like a thrift store or is it all like new old stock? Like, what is it? Is it just another name for a thrift store? <laughs> Am I overthinking this? Let me know down below. Should I be searching my area for them? Like, if they're within a 45 minute drive, should I like look them up? I don't know. I've never been in one. Not in December, but new to your channel. This was my second sale ever. I bought on a hunch thinking I could make like $15 profit. Got home, looked up comps, and did a happy dance. Paid $5 at Savers. Well, thank you for being new to my channel. I appreciate you being here and watching. And that goes for everyone. Thank you guys all so much for watching the channel. I appreciate it so much. And for everybody that shared a bolo for this video, thank you. Um, it's awesome. But anyway, this is a Lennox mistletoe park series jeweled train with original box that is fantastic i mean think about it you get home and you're like you didn't look it up you're like i paid five bucks for it this is in the original box i'm gonna pay that it's linux if i see linux in the original box i would buy it for five dollars without comping it also and i would also do a happy dance so i'm with you Bought at an estate sale where it was fill a bag for $10. Cost was likely a dollar as I stuffed the bag full. Took a deal for $51. It is a RS Germany Tillowitz Blue Floral Gold Porcelain Five-Piece Dresser Vanity Set Antique. That's It's beautiful. It's what it looks like. $0.50 cents at a garage sale. $0.50 cents at a garage sale. I love it. Elvis, what happened? It's a first edition book, $113.75 plus shipping. I love it. 50 cents. All right. This one right here. I asked her to share this because she actually messaged me on Messenger and she's like, check this out. And I love this one. It's a bread and butter, but it's one of those that you all walk past. From the same estate sale, I got five lots from last August. Just listed these bread and butter bobbins and they sold for full price, international sale, and they paid shipping. It says 28 vintage class 66 bobbins, Singer 66, 401, 500, 201, metal one hole and plastic case. Woo, that's a lot of words and numbers and ah, but anyway, $24.99. Uh, plus shipping and they went internationally. So bobbins, how many of you walk past bobbins? I bet a lot of you. I know I do. Not necessarily a bolo because most people know to pick up Pottery Barn, but picked up this pillow at a thrift store with original tags, don't rip tag, etc. The This thrift had a sticker on it for $6. It was after Christmas. So all things Christmas were 10 cents. That's nice. Yep. Picked up this pillow for a whole dime. I think I could have sold it for more, but also didn't want to hold on to it. It is awesome. Price slightly lower than another seller. Sold for $55 plus buyer paid shipping. Sold within a day or so. It looks like a big piece of candy. You just want to lick it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a Pottery Barn Cozy Teddy Peppermint Pillow Candy Holiday Christmas Store or Christmas with tags, with store tags. That's what it looks like. Oh, this is a good one. Some of these go for crazy money. I mean, thousands of dollars. Some of these. This one didn't go for that, but some of them do. Uh, purchased this Polo Ralph Lauren sweater at the Goodwill. We paid up for it at $9.98. This teddy bear sweater, these teddy bear sweaters can go for big money. First, tried a seven day auction on eBay starting at $150 with no bites. Relisted on Poshmark for $225 and it sold with a Posher VA offer of 10% off within 36 hours. Great way to start the new year. Courtney, thanks for all you do to educate us on bolos. We hope you and everyone in this amazing group have a healthy and successful 2023. Oh, thank you so much. Um, this is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren American flag bear sweater and it's an extra small. So um, it's an extra small. I think size is really important. Maybe that would have increased the value, but it's a teddy bear sweater. The teddy bears do good. The skein vintage Ralph Lauren is definitely a bolo. I'm telling you, some of it, 500, 1,000, over 1,000. Look it up if you see it. I picked these up at a yard sale for $3. These Daisy embossed Oxfords are a big bolo for Doc Martens and are a rare style. Excuse me. 
sold on Poshmark within 48 hours of listing. I had them listed at 200. I was sharing out to likers at 160, 20% off with free shipping. Passed on 135 offer that came in within 12 hours. Accepted 155 offer and buyer paid the shipping. And okay, there is a photo. This is what they look like. All right, awesome. This guy right here, oh my goodness, he is a bolo finder. You guys have got to go over to the Facebook group and he posts stuff all the time, bolo finder for sure. Paid a dollar at a garage sale on December 31st, sold yesterday, the 7th, on auction for $751. I mean, all the time, this guy. It is a Biles Toad Apple II vintage game, big box, vintage, with box, instructions, and disc. And this is what it looks like. I all right, this one right here, the Bible Commentary six-volume set. I got it at a churchyard sale for $6. I sent out an offer to Watcher for $69.99 plus shipping, and he took it. So it's a Bible commentary by E.M. Zur Mission Messenger Publisher, complete six-volume set. And this is what it looks like. And let's see. We're going to do another one. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. This is her YouTube channel. And definitely go and check her out. And I absolutely love this bolo. Uh, paid 25 cents at the Goodwill. Sold it on eBay for $37.79. Uh, shipped after a 10% coupon was applied. It's an egg. It's an egg. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. I would have a hard time selling this. Like I would want to sit it on a little shelf and just look at it because it's so darn cute. <gasps> Jellycat London stuffed plush animal toy egg. Amusables. Yolk plush lovey. Okay. So the amusable collection of the jelly cat, um, that's a different line. Those, a lot of them are a bolo. So if you see that, definitely look it up. But jelly cat in general, I did a whole video on jelly cat. Some of them go for crazy money. Um, but this is what the little egg looks like. How cute is that? Somebody put, I love your username. It's piece of scrap. <laughs> it is a fun one. So uh, find her on YouTube and I will link her down below as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you all. Leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments and I will see you guys at the next one. There should be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another video down below. So check out another video. Thanks for watching.